Hi, welcome. On November 30th, 2020 at 1.30 a.m. Pacific time, there is a full moon penumbral lunar eclipse happening. And this is because the moon will be 11 degrees away from the north node in Gemini. So it's not quite conjunct, so it's just a partial eclipse. And yeah, during this time of the south node in Sagittarius and the north node in Gemini, it's been all about trying to bring opposing views into some kind of cohesive thing. Because obviously, there has been a very strong differentiation of cultures in recent years due to, well, you know, the internet. Because we've been able to sequester ourselves into small little groups and really only believe in whatever it is our small little group believes in. And now, with this North Node in Gemini, it is challenging us to communicate with other sides of the spectrum so that we can actually integrate these viewpoints and come to some kind of mutual agreement or conclusion of some kind. And that's what this full moon is going to be bringing up for us during this time. And then there's also Mercury at 27 degrees of Scorpio, and it is sextile Saturn at 28 degrees of Capricorn, Jupiter at 26 degrees of Capricorn, and Pluto at 23 degrees of Capricorn. So this has been a great time to focus your mental energies and to perhaps do some research into different areas, especially areas around spirituality, religion, or your own belief system, maybe even looking at any outmoded, outmoded beliefs that you hold on to, you know, things that you need to actually let go of at this time, maybe things that just no longer make sense in your own mind are being let go of, and a more realistic viewpoint could be coming forward for you during this time. And... You know, this is just a really great time to really focus in on whatever it is you want to focus in on. It's a great time for learning. It's a great time for absorbing new information or just sifting through information in any kind of way. And the other thing that's happening is Venus is at 10 degrees, 57 minutes of Scorpio, opposite Uranus, retrograde at 7 degrees, 32 minutes of Taurus on this day. So it's actually probably more closely opposite sometime before this day. And with this combination of things, you could be a lot more objective about your relationships at this time and more objective about the emotions that you have, like more able to uh, kind of connect at that deeper level by being more objective, which is kind of a uh, oxymoron. But in a way, like you might be able to express those deeper emotions in a more detached way. And you know, or your partner might be able to express their emotions in a more detached way so that sort of these emotions can be transformed or the deeper feelings that you have could be expressed more easily. And uh, the more negative possibility is that shocking information could come to light, you know, but ultimately I think any sort of shocking information that comes to light could bring you closer together because of that Venus and Scorpio. Venus and Scorpio is very um, much about 
sharing intimacy. And when you share intimacy, you're really just sharing a deeper part of yourself. You're being more honest. You're more, you're being more real about what it is you feel. And so in expressing those deeper emotions, a transformation can occur. And ultimately it brings the energies into a more unified state. And this full moon is also going to be um, sextile Chiron. So the full moon's happening at 8 degrees, 38 minutes of Gemini, and Chiron's at 5 degrees, 3 minutes of Aries. So obviously that sextile will be closer earlier on, um, like the day before probably, um, this full, you know, day before this full moon. So... Any sort of conversations can be extremely healing during this day. You can express some old feelings around old wounds, potentially. Um, and with the moon in Gemini, it is a great time to talk about emotions because you can be a little more analytical about them rather than getting too caught up in like the mire of them like caught up in the uh, emotion of them. You can kind of intellectualize your emotions a little more. So having that cerebral kind of energy can help you work through older wounds. And so it's kind of complementary to that Venus opposite Uranus because Uranus is, you know, helps with objectivity and detachment. And then with the moon in Gemini, I mean, there's just a lot of things going on together where it's kind of a merging of emotions and the intellect so that you can kind of view these things from a more, you know, above them kind of level. You know, the air signs tend to, you know, not put themselves into the emotions too much. They like to be a little above the emotions and look at them like this. <laughs> and, you know, sometimes that can be an issue uh, for dealing with your emotions, but it can also be helpful for being able to understand your emotions from a more mental perspective. So yeah, that's all of the aspects for this full moon. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to like, subscribe, comment, and share. I do appreciate it. Have an awesome time.